guys, hi, what's up, welcome back to Royal First Thunder Finds, where we get a different, we find a different game each week. Um, is this Big Trip Void? I don't know very much about it, but I found it on the eShop right before they decided to close the eShop for some reason, and we're gonna play it. Let's start. Ooh, wait a minute. Uh, a button to activate, so we'll just start. There's Commander Video and two other smaller Commander Videos? Hello? I don't... What? Why? I don't... I don't... I'm confused. So you don't pick up the white dots, pick up the black dots. Okay. Oh no. Oh, I can get very addicted to this game. Ooh. Oh man, this is an interesting game. Ooh, okay, so I couldn't avoid that for any longer. feelings about this game already. This is a really clever game design. It's like an inverse schmump. I really dig it. I have feelings about this game already. So this is, uh, I don't know anything about this game. I can't, physically could not have avoided those. Is this just like a high score thing? Do you just go for as long as you can? Or is there like some kind of... I think this might just be go as long as you can. This is really interesting. This feels a lot like, functionally it has kind of the same design language, for lack of a better term. Ooh, no. Uh, as Pit Trip Runner. Wow, I sure could not have avoided that. folks, this... Uh... Hello? Repellent? I can't see anything. What? Hello? What is ha... Don't adjust your screens, guys. Uh, this... The screen really does look like this for me. It keeps fading in and out like this. It's a little infuriating, actually. <laughs> Makes it a little hard to play, because I can barely see what's going on sometimes. It's a little bit like watching 
2001 A Space Odyssey. Like, you know someone's trying to tell a story in here, and you know someone's trying to get you to play a great game, and there's a great game in here somewhere, but you're not sure you can find it. What? Hello? Okay, if the game would... I... Um... Quit? Uh I um I don't even know what to say about this game and we still have enough time for like part of another round. I um are there yeah okay lore Okay, the B button apparently does something. Oh, you can hit Z to shrink yourself and get more points? Maybe? Someone, someone with a more, who's more archi archivally minded than me should do that. Whoa. Okay, so now that I know that Z can make you smaller, uh, this game just got infinitely more fun so I don't have to just randomly die. I have feelings about this. Ooh. What is... I... Like this... Sorry if I'm like really just making a lot of weird sounds and looking confused because I am in fact very confused by this game in the best possible way though. It's like a pleasant sort of confusing. Let's, what this reminds me of, or I suppose it reminds me of this, is a super hexagon is what it really reminds me of. Although Super Hexagon came out after this game, a good while after, I'd say. And so I suppose Super Hex this reminds me of Super Hexagon. Ugh, the way this ugh. I don't know how I feel about this background. Like it's really cool looking, don't get me wrong. Like from an artistic standpoint, wow my switch is in the way. Like, 
the way the screen kind of half fades to black sometimes makes it uh, very difficult to see and therefore see the things you're aiming for and therefore play the game. I'm sure there's like some kind of whoa. Oh. Hello? Uh, if you can't tell, the gameplay has gone silent because it was coming from my Wii remote. Uh, don't eat me, sir. Continues. I'm gonna hit quit. I got a high score though. Let's put in our high score and that'll be the end of it. Press the A button to control pad to select. One. Oh, okay. It has let numbers too. So we'll put in a high score and that'll then I'll talk about the how I feel about this game. G underscore. I really shouldn't have made that sound an alarm for me. Okay. <sighs> Let me stop and brain about this. Um. This week we found Bit Trip Void. Um. It was really, like, almost psychedelic in its design, is the best way. But it's like, it's like you gave a Commodore 64. LSD <laughs> is what it looks like to me. <laughs> you know? I don't know, maybe just normal LSD hallucinations are that geometric. I don't, I'm not a drug-minded sort of person. <laughs> it has a very odd design language. It was a lot of fun, though. It plays like an inverse shoot-em-up. Uh, unfortunately, if you're gonna wanna try and get this game, you have to get it illegally now. Which is, you know, very unfortunate, but I understand, you know, sometimes you gotta close your online marketplace, but hey, I, I won't link you guys to anywhere like you can get this illegally, you know, just for my own sake, but I will put the Wii Shop link down in the description if you want to learn more about the game. Um, anyway, this week we found Bit Trip Void. I found it strange but entertaining. See you guys next week with whatever game we find then. Thank mm -hmm. you.